This is Yellow Wolf and you are watching Montreality. Holler. I set up to do Love Story and um, I, because of when I got hurt, I lost a lot of shows and I've had to make them up and it cut into the time that I had put out to make Love Story. I really want to put in on this album, you know, a few months, really put in work on this album. So instead of rushing it, like I did Radioactive in two weeks and I think that if I really put in on an album like a couple months worth of work, it's gonna be some of my best work ever and I'm really hungry to do it. I'm down, I mean, obviously I'm down for it, but um, we, none of us, I, there's no talks of any collaboration, uh, crew, album, or whatever. Probably a good idea to do it, but I know everybody's on the road working. A slaughterhouse is on the road, I'm on the road, and um, everybody's super busy, man, but I mean, I'm definitely down, obviously, for, for the squad, man. Some shit. What I learned from watching Marshall, his work ethic. Well, first of all, he's sober, so it's like to do this shit sober. It takes such a a lot of fucking willpower and a lot of willpower, you know, to be fully focused and 100% on just the music is it's a hard thing to do, man. To like just x out all the everything man and that's like I said that's what I'm trying to become just more focused on the music because without that there is just there's nothing left you know all everything else is just hype everything is just hype you know it doesn't matter what it is it's all hype it's, it all comes down to those records so that's what I'm trying to do man and put out dope shit man put out classics hopefully you know stuff that'll last me a lifetime uh, other talents I have outside of making music well I like to think that I can paint a little you know I've been painting all my life at John and uh, I do murals I've done some legal murals in my city in Gadsden um, canvas paintings and stuff like that uh, designer I've got my first dog uh, Signature line coming out with uh, famous stars and straps. This is actually one of the shirts You know a whiskey bottle That I collabed with famous uh, to do I got my own shoe coming out with famous Making beats a lot of people don't know, but I'm about to start getting on that again heavy more production instead of just being behind the mic and you know, getting back on the NPC again, NPC 2000. Skateboarding, I can skateboard a little bit, you know? So, I love skateboarding. Uh, no, actually I hate reading. I could never make myself sit down and finish. I don't know what it is, I think I was just part of that generation that grew up on movies, man. The Learning Channel, and Discovery Channel, and, you know, everything that, uh, came across the television. I do read from time to time, but I don't read books like that. I just don't have the patience. It could be that I have ADD or something. Maybe it's just growing up. I haven't settled down enough to just relax and read a book, you know? I need to, though. Shit, man. I call it a million and one reasons why you shouldn't work in the music business. I, I don't know, I'd call it Michael Wayne probably, you know, just about myself and my own story. The key to success in my opinion is just happiness, man. Just feeling like what you're doing is worth it and uh, waking up feeling satisfied about what you've done and what you've put out in the world and what you've learned from it, mistakes that you made, the good and the bad, just being comfortable with it. Uh, that's the key to success, is just relax and let things happen. Hustle hard, but you don't overshoot, man. You just kind of let the cards fall, you know? It's in my pockets right now at the time of this interview. Bill Fall, my girl got me. I've had this thing for a while, you know? This is one of my favorite Bill Folds. You know, just want to shout out 
the roots. This is made in Canada, by the way. That Fifi got me this like a couple years ago. I held on to it. Let's see, I got guitar, cable, business card, Canadian bread. I got some lip balm. Just fell down my pants. Got some, uh, some loose change. This is what their money looks like over here. And some of it's got like clear shit in it. Man. It's dope. See, so, yeah, they make our money look real boring. So that's most countries though. Our money's real boring compared to everybody else's money. Part of the counterfeit probably. Let's pull my lip balm out. No woman is wifey material. If, if you call her wifey, she's not. You don't marry her anyway. A wifey is not an endearing term. It's the girl that you want to keep, but you're still fucking around on. So if you call her your wifey, she's not really your girl. She's just a girl that puts up with your bullshit while you fuck, you know what I'm saying, fuck around. I mean, that's just the way, you know, what's up with wifey? Like, I'm the wifey. Everybody gets married for different reasons, man. I mean, I hope that it would be your soulmate, you know? You want to marry somebody, you got to, you got to give a fuck about not hurting them. And they got to give a fuck about not hurting you, you know? Trust, you know? That's, trust is everything, man. My biggest fear, being poor, again, is my biggest fear. Losing it all, you know? Like all this has just happened and my biggest fear is just living in Gadsden again, back to ground zero. That's my biggest fear. If I had to face it, I would though. But uh, I just, I just want to keep this going, you know? Keep on putting out music and keep my career going. Previous lifetime, I might have been a soldier in Vietnam or something. I used to have war dreams when I was a baby, like all the time. Even before I watched war movies, I would always dream about war and shit. And I have a real sensitive spot for veterans and kids fighting in war. So maybe that, or a rock star, maybe Jim Morrison. Uh, favorite superhero. I've never been into comic books like that. Batman is pretty ill. I like Batman. He's a, he's a beast. I like his style. Uh, a couple of new ones. Well, I got this done in Ottawa last night. It says forgiveness. Right there. to an Ottawa. That piece on my back there. Country Fresh. Country Fresh. I got the badge, the famous badge, the Country Fresh. Country Fresh is my signature line coming out on Famous. I've been down with the Famous family for a long time and I just made it official, you know? And uh, Travis is my big brother, so. That was like the last tattoo I got. That was just yesterday. What do I hope to leave behind with my music? Hopefully, man, people just, music is just about getting away, you know? Like whatever you're listening to, it's just about enjoying those three and a half to five minutes of music, whatever it is that's just putting you in your zone, you know? Whatever that zone is, wherever you want to be, whether it's listening to Wiz Khalifa or you're listening to ASAP Rocky, or you're listening to Kendrick Lamar, or you're listening to Sex Pistols, whatever it is that's just got you in that spot, you know, that's just, that's what music is about, you know. Deeper than that, just some kind of cultural understanding, you know. I hope to open up the eyes of people where I'm from also, and to inspire young people to be free with their choices culturally, you know, like, stop letting on the older generation 
keep you from expressing yourself artistically in any kind of way. You know, you don't have to work at Goodyear. You don't have to work at the steel plant. You can be an artist. You can do something creative. You know, you don't have to dress a certain way. You don't have to be a certain way. You just do whatever you feel like. A lot of people don't get that opportunity where I'm from in Alabama because it's super conservative. But I hope that I've sparked something in young people, you know, old people too, man. And then, you know, just bringing people in from all over the world to my story, hopefully, hoping that they relate to it.